victor being stirred inside their heart. Our uniting time has come. We and the Father are one. Soon we'll be with our Lord forevermore. The evening light is come. The bride is making preparation. She's hearing the shout of the King. The token's been applied. And the dove leaves the lamb once again Finally. Go with me, can I hate the pain? Right. You think, old son, God is so good to me. Amen. I can't complain. <laughs> Amen. God, we're in the song for a when I feel it. Praise God. Psalm 37 and verse 25. <clears throat> The good word of the Lord says this. Praise God. I have been young and now I'm old. Yet I have not seen the righteous forsaken, nor his seed begging bread. He is ever merciful and lendeth, and his seed is blessed. Amen. Mm -hmm. God bless you. Praise God. Let me read that tonight. Amen. Praise God. I like what he said. Praise God. He said this, I have been young and now I'm old. I looked around tonight, praise God. I was once young, Brother Pope. I remember when you first went to church, he was young. I remember when I first went to church, I was young. And I know you sisters, when you first started, you all was young. But now we are kind of got a little bit older, haven't we, praise God. And now I'm kind of up in age, Brother Pope. I then crossed that mark line, and I'm heading down the other side, praise God. Then take the tip on that wave. A lot of us happened here, praise God. But you know what? That don't mean nothing to me, praise God, because I know this. That I may be young again, and I'm old now. But I've never seen the righteous forsaken. And I like this part, Brother Burton. Or his seed begging bread. Praise God. Our children will not have to beg, praise God, as long as we serve the Lord. Praise God. I know that some of the world don't like that thing, but it's the truth anyway. Praise God. He said, I've never seen the righteous forsaken. Or his seed begging bread. Praise God. The children of Israel, all the time they walk down, through the land as they were heading toward Canaan, they never had, praise God, to walk because God always made sure that they had, praise God. Always, brother folk. And they was in a wilderness, buddy, a searching and a hunting for a city that God said they could have. They was hunting for that promised land that flowed with milk and honey. Just a few days away from them, but because of their sin, it cost them a great price. But they had to search and search and search and search. I don't want to have to be like that. They have to search and search and search. And praise God. I'm going to find that place, praise God, by the help of God, brother Pope. And you know what? It's just in sight, praise God. I'm going to it tonight. Canaan land is just in sight, just across the river, brother Burton. And I'm heading that way. I want you to know that, praise God, it's waiting for me. And I'm heading toward it, praise God. And I want you to know why I'm down here, praise God. My God will supply my needs according to his riches and glory, praise God. We worry down here, and sometimes our hearts get overwhelmed. And we just don't know what to do, where to go to. I'm telling you, that sometimes we may not have as many problems as others. But praise God, some have problems that is outstanding, buddy, that they just don't know what to go and where to do it. Praise God, and what to do with that thing. But I know where they have your eyes. I'm telling you, some people has got to make out of this world. You know, they ain't got problems half as bad as others, but the ones that really have got problems, Brother Burke, they need an answer. Amen. And I know the answer. Amen. I know who he is, don't you? His name is Jesus, praise God. I'm telling you right now, Amen. his name is Jesus. He's like a little old widow woman, honey, that was about to starve to death. All she had was just a little bit of milk, a couple of sticks, and a little bit of oil. That's all she had to her name. She's going to do that. She's going to make a cake and eat it. Her son, they're going to die. Now, that's, that's what you deal with that. Ain't that right? That's being down and out, Sister Vicky. <laughs> that's being down and out. That's right. Sure is. But, all right. Could you imagine being that way tonight? Could you all imagine that, really? Praise God. Going home, all you have is just enough to make you a little bite, and you're going to eat that, and that's all you're going to get, and that's all you have, because there's a great doubt in that. Could you really imagine that? We, we read that story, and we talk about that story sometimes, but do we really understand the severity that she was in? The dire straits that this other young lady was in? I mean, she was down and out. She had nothing. Right. Nothing. Nothing to her name. We 
about really being there. I'm saying right now, tonight, nobody in here has really been there. That's right. We've not been there. Amen. We can think we've been there and think that we've been there and feel like we're pretty close to being there, but we've not been there. To that point to where we're going to eat what little bit we got left and we're going to die. And to see our kid do it that and he's going to die too. That would be terrible with him. That would be terrible. That would be the hardest thing I think we would ever go through down here. Yeah. That she was. Got herself in this position to where she had nothing. But she had one thing on her side. Amen. She had one thing. <laughs> she had the most important thing on her. Yeah. And that was him. Amen. Uh, she had the wings of the Almighty overshadowed her. She had contact with the most heavenly, yeah. with God Himself. Yeah. He was watching over her. Very proud of her, what the first time, because she was about to do something that most people wouldn't do. And that was to give up her very livelihood to the man of God that He may have. Yeah. Is that right? Yeah. But doing that, God knows that she would do it. You know that? That's why God took him by her way. He knew what kind of heart. Was in that one. Yeah. He knew that. And you know what? God knows today what kind of heart is in his people. There are people, praise God, that will pay their tithes. And I ain't preaching no money tonight, but I'm just using this for example. That they will take what they've got, Amen. knowing it's the last they've got. But they'll give it to God, not to brother it, to God. They'll give it to God, knowing that they ain't going to have nothing to deal with. Now that's saying a lot. Yeah. Huh? That's saying a lot now. Now you, if you've got a lot of money now, it won't be that bad. <laughs> or if you've got enough to pay your tooth bill when it comes to it, it won't be that bad, right? But now, if you take, like, you got $20, and you did $20, pay your tooth to make it, pay your tooth bill, or should I pay my tithe at $20? Yeah. You see, that's not putting you in too big of a predicament, really. Nope. Not according to what she had to go through. That's right. That's right. And now, now, God knows I'm not taking no money, I'm not tithing anymore. <laughs> I do do that for an example. But she gave everything with her. I mean, her livelihood, her life, yep. depended on that. She's going to die. But the man of God won't buy to make me one person. Yeah. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? This? Say this. Put God first. Yeah. Amen. Amen. Yeah. Can you say amen, church? Amen. amen. Put God amen. first. Yeah. Amen. Not me. Put God first. Amen. Right? Then you can ask what you will, yeah. and he'll do it. How many that? There's a key in serving God, and there's a key to open up the blessings of God. And it's not giving me a thousand dollars. It's not giving me, praise God, a hundred dollars, you may get a thousand back. That's not the key to God. Praise God. The key to God is just giving your heart. Yes, giving your heart. That's the key to God, Brother Jamie. Amen. If you want something from God, and you want God to let you, just get in your heart, buddy. Right. If you get in your heart, he's got everything about you, right. praise God. I guarantee you that he does. Mm -hmm. You know what? God don't care if you ain't got no money to give an offering plate. That's right. That ain't no big deal to God. Yeah, right. And I don't care either. Because God will make a way. God don't care about that. All God will worry about is your heart. Yeah. Are you really serving him with all that you have within you? Amen. Praise God. You know what? One prophet said, where there be no cow in the stall, honey, where there be no fish upon the back, I'm still going to serve the Lord. It's all right with me, Brother Pope. It's all right with me if I've got a church full, or if I've got 10, if I've got 15 people in there, I'm still going to serve the Lord. Praise God. I'm still going to walk in the ways of the Lord. Praise God. I'm still going to serve the Lord. It's all right with me, Brother Larry. What kind of church you got? It's all right with me, Brother Larry. What kind of church you got? It's all right with me, Brother Larry. It's all right with me, Brother Larry. What kind of church you got? It's all right with me, Brother Larry. What kind of church you got? It's all right with me, Brother Larry. What kind of church you got? It's all right with me, Brother Larry. What kind of church you got? It's all right with me, Brother Larry. What kind of church you got? It's all right with me, Brother Larry. What kind of church you got? It's all right with me, Brother Larry. What kind of church you got? It's all right with me, Brother Larry. That's nothing to get excited about. Hang on to the Lord. Yeah. Well, I want you to know, because time is going by, buddy. And time's going by fast, Brother Pope. And I want you to know it's going by real fast. So we've got to hang on to the Lord, praise the Lord, because he's all that we've got. Right. I want you to know, he's all that you've got. And what are you going to do if everything in this world falls tomorrow? Are you going to trust in them? Right. What good would money do you? You know that? Because none of us here got enough money in the bank to really do that good. That time the world, you want to turn them away. We ain't got that much. What are you going to do with Wall Street Fall? Huh? Yeah. We ain't got enough to do all that. We ain't got no gold store up no more if we can sell it. Nope. I don't think I don't think I'll do. <laughs> Besides, you're ready to do 